So everybody, MJ here. And this is everything you need to know about the AEW console game that's in development. If you guys didn't know, this game has been in development since 2020. It is going to be published by AEW, aka All Elite Wrestling. Now AEW is a live wrestling show that started off in 2019 with the TNT show AEW Dynamite and on TBS. Now, I am a big AEW fan. I love all the wrestling. I love watching their shows and the roster. Everything is going good and great. I love watching AEW, especially with the matches, everything. But what I am most excited about is the AEW console game. As one of AEW's wrestlers, the former AEW world champion, Kenny Omega, has announced in 2019 that he play wrestling games and one of his most favorite wrestling game is WWF No Mercy. WWF No Mercy is a professional wrestling video game that was released in 2000 by THQ with developers of IQ Corporation, Asmic Ace Entertainment and it was released on Nintendo 64. WWF No Mercy is one of the best wrestling video games that have ever been made and fans loved it back in 2000. And Kenny Omega wants to make a AEW video game that's inspired and he wants the video game to be inspired by WWF No Mercy and he wants to use the IQ engine, IQ Corporation, but right now it's called Sin Sophia. And Sin Sophia, they make anime dance video games, but Kenny Omega has done a Twitter post with Sin Sophia saying, hey, can we talk? As he wants to make an AEW video game with Sin Sophia. And Kenny Omega will always give us updates about the AEW video game. Wherever we ask him the updates about the AEW video game, he will say, coming hopefully soon. And in 2019, with the Young Bucks on the left, Nick Jackson answered the fans' question if AEW is having a video game. He replied, yes. Well, yeah, but still. And Kenny Omega is mostly gives us updates on the AEW video game. But in 2020, AEW announced AEW Video Games, and we had a special event that came out in November 10, 2020 on YouTube. It gave us three AEW games that's in development. It has AEW Casino Double or Nothing, AEW Elite General Manager, and AEW Console Game. It was hosted by Kenny Omega, Aubrey Edwards, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, and Cody Rhodes. And Kenny Omega Reveal us a teaser trailer for the AEW console game and Hideoki Awashida aka Geta who is the director of No Mercy and Leisure Developer is helped with the AEW console game. And I was so hyped with this teaser trailer but a lot of fans weren't really a fan of how the wrestlers in game models look because they don't really look like the wrestlers in real life but it was only a CGI trailer. But AEW games post AEW games 2 point show that is hosted by Kenny Omega with this special guest and the Bunny Alley. But right now it is hosted by the Bunny Alley with the referee Aubrey Edwards. And on June 18, 2021, Kenny Omega reveals the latest update on the first look of Darby Allen's in-game model for the AW console game. And I like Darby's in-game model look. Darby's in-game model look is on point. It looks just like Darby Allen in real life, and they give us a gameplay footage of what the AEW console game will look like and shows Darby Allen's moves on the created green wrestler and and later on September 8, 2021 they reveal another reveal of a wrestler's in-game model and this time is Jungle Boy's in-game model and I also love Jungle Boy's in-game model it looks on point and like I said it was just like Jungle Boy in real life and they also show Jungle Boy's moves, but this time he's not like fighting a green creative wrestler. But this time it's him facing out Darby Allen, showing what Darby Allen's move will look like in game. And a lot of fans love Darby Allen's and Jungle Boy's in game models, as they look so much better than the ones on the CGI trailer. As I agree, as the gameplay models of Jungle Boy and Darby Allens look so much better than the ones on a CGI trailer. And Yuke's is working with AEW on the AEW console game 
And we also have some confirmation on the AW calls the game will feature our style that the current visual style of the game is said to be inspired by WF No Mercy and Virtual Pro Wrestling with more arcade look than the WWE game series. The gameplay is inspired by WF No Mercy and Here Comes the Pain. It will be a modern day version of those classic games. With fast, fluid, hard hand gameplay, a variety of depth of moves, and a lot of unique and brand new gameplay concepts and mechanics. It will still be a realistic game with realistic moves and counters, but it will be more fast paced compared to a full simulation game. The game will be based on entirely new engine, used is using a new game engine built from scratch. The game will feature a campaign mode. It will not feature a GM mode, as that's included in the AWE GM mode. Other than that, it has been stated that the game will have the modes the fans expect to be in there. A dev created wrestler mode will, of course, be part of the game with a robust feature set. You will be able to create any wrestler you want, from wacky characters to realistic wrestlers from other promotions. A create move set mode is also confirmed for the game. The game will feature online competitive multiplayer. You will be able to play with your friends against your friends with all sorts of options and all match types. AW is also exploring ways to allow for cross platforms play and other innovative features. As shown in the teaser trailer, with Kid Omega facing Hikaru Shida, intergender matches will be possible in the game. The trailer includes the tagline where dreams matches become reality. Wrestlers will be able to bleed in the game and the blood will remain on the rig mat. And the AEW console game roster so far will include Chris Jericho, Cody Rhodes, Darby Allin, Hikaru Shida, Jungle Boy, Kid Omega, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Owen Hart. As more confirmation will be added soon. Is it going to reveal more wrestlers in the game? And Tony Khan, who is the CEO and co-founder of AEW, he is partner with Epic Games on AEW Games, and said this, I do not have exact dates, but I think we're going to have a huge, huge, huge announcements in 2022 about our console game, Tony Khan said. And there has been a ton of work and resources put into development. And I can promise you, we have a lot to show for it. It's going to be an exciting, great game, and I'm very excited. And later, Kenny Omega has announced that he doesn't want the AEW console game to be with WWE 2K22, as that game just been released. But we're getting some more updates this year. As it also did fit images of what the AEW console game cover will look like. As you guys can see, I use this on Canva. This is my fan images from the AEW console game for PS5, Xbox Series X. This game will also be on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. Now we don't have updates on the AEW game so far, but hopefully we get some more updates on the AEW console game sooner rather than later. And I am very excited for this AW console game. And that is the end of this video. Now if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share a comment, tap the bell for notifications, and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day everyone, and God bless you.